Hello, and welcome to this second episode of this Hexflexel, um, not a tutorial, <laughs> maybe it's more of a walkthrough or s vlog, because I will most likely make mistakes, and uh, hopefully these mistakes will be useful for you. But uh, last time I just showed you how where to get stuff, how to install it, or, you know, not even really how to install it, but where to get stuff. And today we're actually going to look at coding. Um, so uh, let's, yeah, let's get started with that. So um, first I want to show you how to make a new project. So say you have this folder where you want to put your projects just go uh, you know one folder up and then if you if you uh, shift and right click on the folder you can do this open command window here so um, from here what you'll want to type is flixel oops flixel and then template and then hyphen in which I think is for the name and then inside of quotations you'll put the name of the project you wanna make so let's call this uh, hex flixel uh, it's gonna say tutorial but I don't wanna call it that log <laughs> so um, and if you don't feel like t typing out the whole word template uh, you can actually just write uh, TPL and it'll do the same thing, but uh, eh, that's not so big of a difference. So there we go, and it said it created our uh, our project. <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look, and there it is, Hexflexel vlog. And then we have our project file there. Okay, so actually this is from a previous project. Um, so here are our, here's our project. Um, we got references to the Flixel framework and library. Uh, we've got assets. This is where you can put all your things, your sounds, music, images, data, like your maps and whatnot in there and our source, source code. Um, uh, it starts you off with two states, um, which uh, we'll talk about in a little bit, about how uh, Flixel works. But these others are more of getting uh, hex and Flixel connected. Um, uh, we can talk about those later. And then we have this project XML, which um, is also sort of related to the hex side of things for when we're going to do multi-platform things in the future. Although I think I'll probably just focus on Flash <laughs> for this, but uh, maybe in the future I'll talk about how to get things running on uh, other um, things like, you know, desktop, mobile, this and that. Okay, so um, let's uh, oh, let, me, let me get my notes up <laughs> to see what we're talking about here. All right, so um, uh, yeah, let's take a quick look at how, <clears throat> excuse me at how uh, Flixel sort of is organized um, in your objects that you'll be working with and everything. So as I said, we had these state uh, uh, files here, or you know, uh, classes. And here's basically how it works. There's a Flix game object, which is uh, which is basically done automatically for us in this game class, um, which um, is just sort of the basic setup things about it, which will. You know, with Flash, it like you know sets up the basic stage and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then um, inside of that, uh, we have this Flix G, 
which actually is useful for quite a few things, you know, getting the width and height of the stage, our cameras, uh, this elapsed time for doing delta time with our, you know, animations. And um, it's also good for, you know, our collisions and overlap, um, or not good for, but that's where we <laughs> go to, you know, do our collisions and overlap. Um, but also we have whoops, our states, our state classes that we will make, uh, which will be our different screens, essentially, you know, we have our menu, our different levels, uh, that kind of thing. Um, and, um, and inside of our states, we'll have our individual objects like uh, flix texts, which, you know, you can have it, you know, you'll have words, or buttons, or sprites for our players, or tile maps, and whatnot. So, um, um, that's uh, probably all we need to look at right now. So, um, yeah, let's uh, make a quick... Hello world. So the first thing that I like to do is maybe I'm a big fan of... Actually, before we get to that, let's just put something on the screen. So right now, if we just run it as is, um, we should get this. Alright, it's done building. Okay, this is happening again. I, yeah, I don't know why this this happens, but yeah, um, this is the preloader. But I guess for some reason it just doesn't load up. But I think if I do it again, it should, I hope, uh, load up properly. And it's not. Why not? Let's go for three times. Third time's the charm. Right, 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 right. And... It's not doing it. That's weird. Well, we'll just go to debug. I, I'm not sure what causes that, but... Um, so, yeah. Um, let's take a look at what is there automatically. So, it's a black screen. So, um... That is good. It means that things are working correctly. <laughs> um, so what 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 is this doing? So um, as we start it, uh, this game class gets started up. It you know loads in our resolutions, our zooms, and whatnot, and then it uh, will, I think, run the main after that. Wait, which comes first? Sorry. <laughs> Let me just take a quick look. Uh, okay. So actually, no. Main runs, because this is like really base level hex stuff, and it makes a new game, a new Flix game, which runs this right here. And this... Uh, Oh yes, and then it uh, runs our initial state, which is the menu state here. Um, and technically you could change this if you wanted to. Um, say you wanted to start with uh, your own personal splash screen. Um, you would make your splash state or something and then change that to start the splash. But um, yes, and then uh, it'll start a new game with our uh, menu state. And right now, this is our menu state, and inside it gets created, and that's it. There's nothing in there. So, let's put something in there. Um, so with uh, the flick states, um, usually in other classes, um, you know, our constructor is, you know, the same name, or they also have these new things, because hex is weird like that. But with our uh, states, we're actually going to use this create. We're going to override the create f from the super class of flick state. And um, so underneath this super create, uh, we're going to uh, put 
are our own code. So let's start with the basic things. Um, we'll do a hello world. So as I showed earlier, um, inside of your states you'll have your objects and whatnot inside there. But kind of like in Flash, if you're familiar with using that, you have to add your objects to this object or this state or display list, whatever you want to call it. And that is very easy to do. We just do add, and then inside we um, make a an object that we can add. And actually, uh, I think this is a bit small for you, so let's make it bigger. And uh, we don't need uh, that at the moment. Okay, so yes, we we'll do add, and then let's add a new flix text. And uh, I hope that you're familiar with how objects work and whatnot. Um, and uh, I don't have to go into too much detail about that. Uh, if you do have questions, uh, I guess, you know, put a comment down there and maybe I can direct you to something that uh, will help you in that arena. Um, but uh, if you're not familiar with that, you might want to just look at some other uh, tutorials before this one, or other videos. <laughs> this is not a tutorial. All right, so um, first it's asking for uh, X and Y position of this uh, flix test and uh, I just put it at zero zero which is in the top left corner and then our width for this uh, we'll just put 100 and then our string of what the text will say and let's have it say hello hex flixel and I don't think we need to change the font size or the embedded font or anything so we'll just leave it at that. We'll close it out, put our semicolon, and then uh, let's let's just go for release again. I wonder why. Please, please work, please. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not working. Why? <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, we'll stay in debug for the time being. So we'll run it, and there it is. It's very small, but it says "Hello Hexflixel." So there we go. We have our uh, first thing showing, which is kind of cool, right? So um, let's uh, kick it up a notch. Um, so that looked really small, right? So we want to get, let's say we want a retro look. We want things to be, have big, fat, chunky pixels and whatnot. So how do we change that? Um, if you've done things with other um, uh, hex uh, projects, oftentimes you'll go in here uh, into the project XML and you'll change things around in here. But I think it is best, uh, or maybe we have to change both. But um, so here we have um, these window settings. And uh, as it says, these will apply to all targets. So I think if we do that, it will, um, no matter if we're doing web desktop, it'll keep it the same. But I think if we just go into this game class, we can change these numbers here. And actually, no, I'm sorry. We do have to change both. <laughs> so, uh, yes, I prefer, uh, I think, what's called a wide VGA. So I think that is just 800 by 480. Um, and then in our game class, we are going, we have these. We have this. So in previous versions of Flixel, you would change this zoom number, but I found that doesn't seem to work exactly the way I would expect. <laughs> like, for example, if I keep this at 800 480 and set the zoom to 2 and run it, 
it if unless I was doing something wrong before, we should still see it being very tiny. Yeah, hello Hexflexel. You see like that. So, um I th think it's best to just leave this at negative one and have it handle uh, the zoom automatically, but then change our width here to half the size. Like that. And then run it, and we should see some nice big chunky pixels. Yeah, there we go. Now it's all large. And uh, let's say we don't like this black background, so how do we change that? So actually, um, that let's go to our menu state. Uh, the background is determined by the camera um, that is looking at it. Although this isn't quite like a camera in like Unity or some 3D pro pro uh, packages. Um, it kind of works the same. <laughs> so our camera has uh, a, a property. So I think under Flix G, which holds our our cameras, we Flix G camera. We have a background. Oops, is it BG color? BG color. Okay, and we can just set that equal to a hex number, uh, which is a uh, a A R G B. So the first two are is our alpha, and we just want that to be full. So we'll do, uh, you know, the full hex. Was that two fifty five? Um, and then from here we'll do our R G B. Um, so let's just make it my favorite color, which is bad ass. Well, it's not really badass, but, you know, it is a pretty badass color. And let's take a look. I need a new computer. <laughs> hey, there we go. We have our Hello Hexflixel with our wonderful badass green in the background. So, um, that's basically it. Um... That's all for this episode. Just a quick uh, overview of how to get things started. Um, in the next episode, let's uh, add a player object and then, you know, move it around and maybe, you know, add some graphics or some temporary graphics. So, uh, that's all for this video, and I'll see you in the next one, which will be... I think I'm going to call the next one Episode 2, because the first one will be Episode 0, because we didn't really do much of that. So, Well, anyways, I'll see you then. Bye.